subscribe for tech talks and hit the bell icon to get notifications about coolest and latest engineering technology in the first place here we will be studying about space vector pwm so in space vector pwm spwm also known as spwm uh, we will be having a, a dc source it will be connected to a three phase inverter and the three phase inverter will be connected to a uh, ac motor or induction motor three phase induction motor as you can see in uh, this figure we are having a three phase induction motor and inverter uh, this is the inverter this is the dc link I have taken the dc link dc link voltage as 400 volt and uh, switches are there igbt switches are there and gate pulse is there uh, and we will see that how we generate this gate pulses unlike sign pwm so this is uh, we will learn gradually in steps that how to generate open loop sbpwm pulse if you have uh, want to know that how we have generated uh, uh, done this inverter you can uh, refer my earlier videos i will give the uh, link in the description box uh, so we are having this invert uh, induction machine so you will be getting this invert induction machine in uh, simulink library in simulink library you just go to simscape then you just go to power systems then specialized technology in specialized technology you go to machines in machines you go to this asynchronous machine SI unit so you take this one so you can now change this uh, one to according to what you require you can do it wound motor or squirrel cage and you can put the parameters according to you whatever is here just uh, take care that uh, here the slip should be one because motor is starting from speed zero so the slip should be one okay so this is has to be taken care of i have already done uh, as per one of the motor so we have also done put put some values over here uh, and the slip is one just take care of that okay so now we will see uh, how we will move to the next step now we will see that how we will work out this svpwm for that we require to study some basics we have uh, eight voltage vectors namely v0 v1 v2 v3 v4 uh, till v7 out of these two v0 and v7 are of different kind and v1 to v6 they are of same kind so when you see v1 over here and uh, switching vector is uh, 100 this means that that uh, v1 vector is uh, uh, operated when s1 uh, this this uh, one is one this is zero and this is zero so obviously you know that, that if this uh, switch one is one then switch four will be zero so if switch uh, three is zero then switch six will be one so in this way this uh, voltage vectors are designed and if we switch on in this way then the line to neutral voltage or the phase voltage will be of this pattern that is 2 by 3 vdc minus 1 by 3 vdc and uh, minus 1 by 3 vdc that is the c phase voltage and correspondingly the line voltage will be like this so this is how this voltage vectors are drawn and two uh, other the voltage vectors that is v0 and v7 they are designed in a what way that v0 is 0 0 0 and v7 is 1 1 1 so we see that if this three are 0 and this one is 1 so no voltages will appear either in line or in phase that you could easily see that uh, no voltage is appearing in line or phase similar thing is will be happening at v7 vectors here 111 one, this means that the upper three switches are switched on and below three switches are switched off also you, at this moment you will see that no phase or line voltage will appear over here okay so out of this v voltages every uh, value is to be multiplied with vdc so 
So if we uh, do in this way, then we will see that voltage vector V1 will appear in D axis and uh, likewise V1, V2, V3 with an angle of 60 degree. So, while implementing SVPWM, we need to know what is this angle alpha. What is this angle alpha? Uh, we will see how we calculate this one in corresponding uh, uh, video, uh, corresponding part. So, two wave vectors, one is along V1 voltage vector and along V2 voltage vectors, this will give V reference voltage vectors. Now, the voltage vectors will be operated for a definite interval of time that is for T1 and T2 out of the total time and this will give a smooth voltage vector over here. Okay. So, moving on to equation, we will get Vd and Vq by this implementing this equation. Uh, this is from Parkes transformation that Vd equal to 2 by 3 uh, Van minus uh, V minus half into Vbn minus half into Vcn. Likewise, Vq also is there. Okay, and alpha is what? Alpha is tan inverse of Vq by Vd. So, this alpha is equal to omega t. So, this is the fundamental frequency. Our fundamental frequency is 50 hertz. And this is V reference that is uh, root over of Vd square plus Vq square. In the subsequent uh, program, we will refer Vd as V alpha and Vq as V beta. So, now we will uh, implement this equation that V D V Q. So, for that we, what we require? We require V A and V C B N and V C N. So, we have taken 3 sine wave of 1 magnitude 50 hertz frequency. So, this is our V A and uh, this one is V V uh, 1 magnitude 50 hertz frequency and uh, phase delayed by minus 2 pi by 3. Here also the phase is delayed by minus 4 pi by 3 by 50 hertz frequency. So now this 3 we will connect over here. Okay, And these are functions. So for in functions uh, we have uh, implemented this equation only that uh, uh, B A minus 0 0.5 into B B plus B C. So, this same thing has been implemented over here. Okay. So, B A minus 0 0.5 B B plus B C. And this is for square root of root 3 by 2 B B minus square root of root 3 by 2 B C. So, so, this has been implemented over here and the whole thing has been multiplied by 2 by 3. So, it is multiplied by 2 by 3. Okay. And uh, now, uh, this is our B alpha and B beta. We will name this one. Uh, take it out. Uh, we will name it as uh, B alpha. And same thing we will be doing over here and we will limit as B beta. Okay. Now, this is tan inverse trigonometrical function A tan 2 that is tan inverse. Okay. So, tan inverse uh, it is written what V q by V d that is V beta by V alpha. So, V uh, beta by B alpha we will also name it as what we will also name it as angle now we will form a subsystem over here create a subsystem Here we will be writing it as uh, 
A phase here we will be writing it as B phase or whatever you can write uh, A B C A B C or whatever you can even give your own names B A B B B C okay ultimately the thing is that you have to implement this two equation and you have to find out the angle okay a b c that is going to form b alpha b beta and this angle okay you can even name this subsystem to whatever uh, you like i am naming it as uh, um, angle identification okay angle identification we will move to the next step so as you could see that now we will we have found out uh, the angle now we have to see that uh, where these angles lies in this sector so this is sector 1 from here to here that is 0 to 60 degree this is sector 2 that is from 60 to 120 degree this is sector 3 that is 120 to 180 degree and uh, subsequently uh, sector 4, 5, 6 is there and uh, voltage vectors are marked over here that this sector is from when the voltage vectors 1 to voltage vector 2. So we have found out the angle now we will be finding out these sectors. So for finding out these sectors whatever angle we have got uh, previously so that is in radian so we have to convert that one to so this is angle that, that we have got previously angle so this has to be changed to degrees so for changing to degrees this 180 degree by pi okay now we will do what we will be that when this angle is greater than 0 this is degree greater than 0 and less than 60 degree less than or equal to 60 degree then you could see over here that greater than 0 and less than or equal to 60 degree then we will call it as sector 1 okay so we will put an and over here this is sector 1 okay so this we will convert this one uh, to the uh, the data type will be con converted because this is digital signal okay because we are using AND gate so we will be converting this one and we will multiplying this sector 1 with 1 so why we are multiplying it with 1 and sector 2 with 2 and subsequently we will come to uh, notice in the next steps so likewise for from sector th uh, 2 will belong from 60 degree to 180 degree so this will be connected over here and this will be connected over here both connected to and then it is converted and then multiplied by 2 so we will do this one what we will do we will copy it I paste it okay so, so this will be the angle that we are getting so from 120 degree this will be connected to 120 degree that is the previous one and this one will be till 180 degree ok here it will be 3 ok now the next one next one is But once the uh, value reaches 180 degree then we will be going in the negative direction that is from minus 180 degree to minus 120 degree minus 120 degree 
so this one will be connected to the angle it will be connected over here and this one to number 4 so this is sector 4 likewise this one will be connected over here this one will be connected to minus 120 degree minus 120 degree to minus 60 degree this is 5 and this one is 6 this one is from minus 160 degree to 0 degree ok so here it is equal to 0 and here it, we are starting from greater than 0 so 0 appears only one time here also you see that here it is equal to 180 degree and it is starting the negative values are starting from greater than minus 180 degree ok so here it is number 6 then we will be doing what then we will be adding it operation add ok we will be adding all the sectors 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes ok and then what we require is another output output so this is our sector sector so why we have multiplied it with this one because and added up with this one because you will see a ramp will be there that is for sector 1, 1 will be there, for sector 2, 2 will be there, for sector 3, 3 will be there. Gra we will show you the graph after this uh, whole uh, program is complete. So you can even make a uh, subsystem of this one, create subsystem. Okay, and you can put over here angle. Uh, so you can do it in this way also. Right expand subsystem now I take this hole and then you create a subsystem and delete this one and here also you want to delete this one so you are getting a subsystem over here that from where you can give an angle and get a sector from here so we will move to the next part next we will see that uh, how we will generate the switching functions so let us consider comment below about how you like this video Check out the links in the description box about more such videos. Do click the like button if you like the video. If you are new to this channel, subscribe TikToks and don't forget to hit the bell icon.